So howdy. It's been a couple of weeks since I finished my printer. It's only been like a week since I actually uploaded the final video or so, maybe. But I finished it a couple of weeks ago. I'm almost through my first roll of filament, mostly printing with PLA. I did a little bit of ABS printing, um, but uh, mostly been printing with PLA. One of the bigger items I printed, uh, which is going to be going in today. So I am doing the uh, the Sunny Low upgrades from Thingiverse, um, the X and Y axis uh, upgrade. So what it is is swapping out the rails uh, that are in there for open builds uh, V slot, and that'll be my new Y axis. And I left this at 500 uh, millimeter. The idea would be that possibly I could get uh, a, a 200 by 300 bed and it should fit into my box I think just barely so and I built the box in the enclosure to put my printer in <coughs> uh, on the top of it I have a Raspberry Pi so I could watch it from upstairs without having to sit down here all the time um, I'm gonna raise the the uh, Z-axis motors above where they are now with uh, these motor relocators. Um, I'm going to change the uh, threaded rods out to uh, eight millimeter uh, linear screws. I think I mentioned that when I did the build. Um, I had the Y-axis I already showed you. Um, I have the X-axis mounted on two because I haven't cut it to length yet. I am going to uh, replace the current um, X cart uh, X axis uh, and Z axis system uh, out with these. So, yeah, the uh, threaded rod is going to replace uh, the lead screw is going to replace the threaded rod, and V slot again is going to replace the uh, uh, the linear bearings there you go so and I do have to get one wheel replaced it's being sent right now um, so it should be here by Monday because um, one of these wheels was on a true I've taken the wheel apart and tried cleaning it try it's just I can't get the true out and everything else I've ever had from open builds have been fine but like I said I had all the parts printed out that I would possibly need corner brackets I got an extra one of these because I was messing around with the software and I didn't notice I made it 103 percent which makes it bigger not a lot but a little bit so I had to reprint it um, yeah so I've been printing all kinds of things to get ready for this so I am gonna do the same thing I did with the build uh, and I'm gonna do the y-axis first because uh, I think it's easier and uh yeah good i think it's easier it's a good enough reason and then i'll do the the x and uh z axis stuff afterwards um and i got i'm trying to clean up the wiring on the y axis i'm still trying to figure out how i'm going to route the wiring and be able to allow and be able to allow everything to work i'm thinking about putting it the wiring straight up and it'll just go like that as it goes back and forth. But I don't know if it'll, I don't know if this will hold up or not. So, but I can try it out. Um, I'll link to all the things on Thingiverse that are in this. Um, and I expect it probably to be a part one, part two deal. So, uh, I'll bring it back once I get the, uh, the printer out of the enclosure and the, um, uh, the, uh, the Y axis apart. Okay, so I have my uh, my Y axis apart, motor off, end stop, sitting there, heat bed just hanging off the back right now. Ten minute job. Um, if you put it together, you can get it apart. Um, yeah, the uh, same tools you use to put it together, you can just take it apart. I'm going to be putting it back together um, with probably a lot of new hardware because I'm going to put. Uh, bigger bolts to hold everything together 
So I have uh, open build T slot nuts that are five millimeter. Um, and these don't fit. So I have, to, I mean they'll fit, but I have to file a tiny bit off the edges in order to get them into the 20 mil um, slots. So uh, a quick minute with a file and I can get them in there. They should hold more secure. Uh, I'm going to use metal angle brackets, the same type that are used on the uh, uh, idler bearing. Um, I'm going to file off the nubs on the one side though so that they can fit flush against the, the V-slot rail. So I'm going to do that now and I'm going to mount it and I'll bring it back when I have it mounted. Okay, so I have the new Y-axis installed. Um, some notes, like I said, I used uh, some pot iron 90 degree angle that I filed off the back so I get them flush because uh, they have little indents on the back to fit into the uh, recesses. Um, so I just filed them off, that made them nice and tight. I did the same technique I did before for centering everything. Um, I used a caliper, used a probe in the end, set it up on the end here, and do the same on uh, three sides. I can't get to the fourth side because of power supply, but if I have three sides, the fourth side should be on. Um, I put uh, cork in between uh, the heat bed and the aluminum plate because I've heard that it'll help uh, with heating up. We'll see. Um, I'm still running the aluminum uh, mill plate I have. I, I do have glass now too. Um, this takes a very long time to heat up. I'm going to see how it heats up with the cork on there. And when I'm warming it up, maybe I'll put the a piece of the cork down on top of it and see if it warms up any faster. But to warm up to 110 degrees takes about 43 minutes um, with the ambient temperature in my basement. So, yeah. Um, uh, don't put on... I put on my uh, aluminum bed and locked, uh, loctited everything. Um, too soon. It would have been far easier to wait to the end. Uh, there's no reason to do it early because you have access to the mounting locations um, next to the wheels. So you, I could have waited and it would have made things easier. Um, I spent probably half my time dealing with that and I didn't have to. I'm still trying to figure out... Uh, oh, and the motor flips from side to side, so you have to flip the cable on the back. Um, right now I have this, uh, the idler, off to the left way more than I think I should, but I don't have flanged bearings and I don't want this to run against the sides. Um, so where it seems to run center is about a millimeter for me off to the left. Yeah, we'll see if it stays that way, I'll watch it. Um, I loctited everything except for the angle pieces because if I, if I want to go to a, uh, a 200 by 300 millimeter build plate sometime, I can move these angles to underneath the rail and get full use of the rail because I can't go past the original box uh, the way it is now. The wheels in the V-slot will hit on both sides. so. Yeah, that is what it is for right now. But I, I can always move the angles down, move my stop back a little bit. There's not a heck of a lot further back before the build plate actually hits the motor. I, I, but I, I probably have about a centimeter, give or take. Um, on the front, I can move forward quite a bit. Yeah, I, I have an extra couple inches um, if I move this plate all the way forward. I still need to deal with my cabling, but yeah, you can see I can move this quite a bit further forward. And I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to do it, and I'm trying to think about how I'm going to attach it. You know, I'm thinking maybe if I attach it straight up and down right here, but then my stop would be in the way. If I mount it like this fashion, the back of the box is there, but I think what will happen then is it will ride up the back of the box as it gets to the you know, rearmost position and then go forward. So I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to attach it. 
Um, yeah, everything else is pretty straightforward. Um, oh, you, the, the this mount, if you use his mount, does not use the idler bearings that came with it. Uh, it needs um, five millimeter bearings. And luckily, I mentioned that uh, for my, my x-axis, I had uh, a bum wheel. Well, that came in, and I have my new wheel installed, and that's great. And I'm a firefighter, and now I have to go. That's a district call. Okay, so I'm back from that. That's uh, one of the pleasures of being a volunteer firefighter. Um, so, like I said, I, I have the, the y-axis done, and it works. I tested it. So I'm going to start on my... Uh, re uh, moving my motors above higher, the uh, raised mounts. So they're going to go up there. So this way here I get an extra you know, centimeter or so of build height. Not that I've needed it so far, but uh, and uh, I'll do the same V slide for my X axis. And I haven't cut this yet, and I don't know if I'm going to. But, uh, I'll probably cut it. It's long, and I'm not planning on going any wider, so I don't see any reason to cut it. Or not cut it. So, um, yeah. But, uh, so let me get started on that. I'll be at this all night long if I don't start soon. I'll be back. 